Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our corridor design series. In this video, I'll be taking you through the process of how I created this beautiful flyer and corridor. Right? With easy steps. Before we start, if you don't mind, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime after this time. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go over to Corridor, click on File and New, and um, of course, put in the name you want to name this project. So for me, it's just going to be simple. I'm just going to have Spa Flyer like this, and um, color mode, everything stays the same like we've always done in previous videos. So if you need help in creating flyers in CorelDRAW, please do visit my previous videos and go through them. There are a lot of things to learn in those videos. Okay, so um, the first thing I like to do here is I'm going to go over to my image, which is the first one I'm going to be using here. So basically, I'm just going to be doing the drag and drop. Right, so bringing it here, you notice that you have those lines. So go over to your sh um, shape tool put this inside like this and um, take this inside like this right so you can see now it's close by you don't have any spaces outside right like this So I'm just going to move that out of the way and focus on this. So my rectangle, I'm just going to draw this here. I'm going to change the color, remove the outline. Of course, always remove the outline, right? Things are much more better when you remove the outline. So um, double click, uh, double click, duplicate this. And I'm going to give this a different color so we can differentiate between these shapes just for now, right? So um, with that done, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to, yeah, I think this is okay like this. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background black like this. And I'm going to go to my resource file. The resource file is in the description of this video so just use the link to get all of that is either you drag and drop or use the import command like this so with this one i'm just going to um, flip it like this so she's facing this side make this one smaller right so i'm going to put it inside here so what you want to do is with this image selected right click and select uh, clip inside when this arrow comes out use this arrow to position inside so as you can see now it's inside of this rectangle so what you want to do is click on edit and um, of course it's not sitting well so we need to position this well so um, increase the size like this um, so um, a good aspect is sitting well inside the frame like this right great So this is what you have. So the next thing you want to do is bring this and um, put this here. Convert this to bitmap to avoid um, if you have a system that's not well built well to handle hard graphics. Most times when you bring the image inside, it's always a good practice to. For those of you that have complained in the past that um, you cannot, when working on images, your coral draw hangs or something like that. So that's an easy way to get rid of those things. When you bring in an image, always make sure you rasterize them again, converting them to bitmap 300 and all of that solves the problem. So okay, now back to this, we have these two shapes now. We have our images inside, right? Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out and um, I'm going to power clip it inside of this rectangle that we have. So how do we do that? Easy peasy, right? So what we want to do is 
Um, cut and um, paste inside the rectangle. So instead of you doing the normal um, right click, power clip inside, so you just cut and paste. So this one also, I would want to add it inside of this, right? So before I do that, I want to make some changes to it, like fade the edges of this image. So how do I do that? So with this image selected, come over here and click on transparency to click and drag from this point to this point like this and move this one upward like this this is what you have when you create it well okay so convert to bitmap like i said and click ok this is what you have so with this done well what you want to do at this point is take this aside and instead of doing the power clip inside and selecting the whole rectangle just cut double click on this rectangle and paste it inside right you can see it's inside when you see this finish command so what you want to do is move this upward like this and just position this well and i'm just going to find the right spot to position this i'm going to move this upward i might still move it upward later um, select this one and double click out or click finish when you're done so there are two ways to finish when you're done double click outside or go ahead and click finish um i still need to get rid of all of these areas but i know how exactly how i'm going to fix this double click make this bigger and um, move it to the side a bit like this finish when you're done I'm going to take the rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this I'm going to fill it with black remove the outline always remove the outline so with this one I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag and drop like this I'm going to do that again so drag and drop um, that's in the right place to be so I'm just going to bring this downward yes till I have that add edge removed I think I'm okay with this but another thing I want to do is this image that is in the background I need to move it upwards I'm seeing it as um, might have some glitch there okay so I'm just gonna double click there and um, make adjustment to this by moving it upwards to cover that little bit of black space that you're seeing on top or i can just position this well to sit well inside of the rectangle right so when i'm done i'm just going to double click out to finish it up right um, i think this is okay good to go uh, no this is not good okay i think i'll just leave it the way it was before make sure you have a good blend of from black to um faded black very well when you're doing this okay so um the next thing i want to do is i'm going to take the rectangle and draw this here i'm going to give it a color but this is not the color right i'm going to change this remove the outline and um okay as of this time i'll just go into my resource file to bring in my logo and i'm going to place it somewhere here as you can see the green there is different from the one i have on that my rectangle so i'm going to use my eyedropper select this green and apply it here like this all right i'm just going to add a little bit of green to this and um, bring it back here like this Okay, make it small I might still change the size later I'm just gonna put this here and um, right about now I'm going over to my rectangle to I'm gonna draw a rectangle here and uh, then of course give it a color I'm gonna use this color and remove the outline 
click on the shape tool and drag this all in to give it rounded corners so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my text tool and I'm going to type services alright so for this I'm going to choose the appropriate font um, let's see let's see let's see what we have um, this no um, if you've not subscribed to my channel now is the right time to actually hit the subscribe button and um, turn on post notifications so you miss any videos I'm dropping after this time around so I'm just going to speed things up at this point and um, yeah okay so there you go um a text um get nicely on the flyer itself so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going over to my rectangle i'm going to draw it here most times i use i tend to use rectangles to draw my lines instead of using the normal line to open to and i just move the outline easy peasy so there are different ways that you can actually go around getting things done so make a duplicate copy of this and i'm just going to use this to type um contact um the contacts uh, um this should be um, the phone number um, spell it out and adjust it well okay great ctrl c and ctrl v again Move this downwards and I'm going to use this for something else. Okay, Instagram Divine Touch Luxury Palace. Great. Great. I'm gonna make this one smaller like this and um, let me zoom out so you see things well in real time right I think this is fine this is good to go We're okay with this um, increase the size here like this like this again you can use your ruler by dragging it from the top and use you can just use it to just gauge where you are 
and um, if you need to make adjustments if some things are not just aligned well so the next thing i want to do is drag this image and bring it inside like this right to add some more um, spice to the design so what you want to do is bring this here still make it smaller like this and um, position this you can see this is okay i think this is nice at this point so what you want to do now is to actually change the color so since everything we have going on inside the flyer is green it would be very very appropriate for us to use something that's green also so um what you do is click on effects under effects go to adjustment under adjustment you're going to select um let me see hue and saturation right so under hue and saturation just copy my settings you can use uh, let me delete this 46 yes i use 46 then when you are done click ok like this so this is what you have that exact color of shades of shade of green that i used right so move this as, aside make sure you power flip it inside of this rectangle so right click and um Power clip inside select the rectangle and manually just use your arrow key your mouse key and um, did i say mouse key use your mouse to drag it down like this and uh, voila when you are done click finish this way you can see how this ad has added some extra flair to what we're doing make it smaller so it's not everywhere you just need moderation in everything i think this is good like this um still move it downwards and double click to come out of that space i think this is better than it was before services good okay so i'm just going to go ahead and use this to type something else which is the email address and i'm going to spell this out no scrap that type again okay i think this is nice it here like this and um, yeah we're good so I'm gonna come back to this rectangle here that has rounded corners this one what you want to do is uh, click on G on your keyboard just hold down the G and um, click basically and just drag from this point to this point so it's going from um, green to white right good okay so i'll just zoom out so we we'll see what we're doing in real time here you go all right guys um simple and easy and um, fast to do this is how i created this flyer in curl draw if you love this video please kindly share subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification i'll see you in the next video bye